Thank you, Councillor Nathan. Uh, thank you. I'm to follow Councillor uh, uh, Parrish's comments as well as well, Councillor Sato, because in the years that I've been around, these exercises always seem to take out the same flavor. The ideas are never at a shortage. There's always a great many ideas. The problem is the courage to implement them. Every budget, uh, for Genesis time is one of the time that I've been around, and if you really want to get to zero or less, cut this, 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 they're, they're presented on a regular basis. And then we always, I'll include myself, we always lack the collective courage to do it. The problem is not ideas, and the problem is not courage, in my humble opinion. The problem is necessity. You know where they're cutting services? In Europe and in Greece, because of necessity. Because banks have said, we won't loan you money anymore. Another great article in the Financial Post today about the situation in Greece. We're not there yet, but when we get there, to not believe it, uh, what we need to do is get out of some businesses. We're not bleeding enough yet to get out of businesses. I've argued before, I won't say it again. We are, nobody's ever challenged me, and I'm waiting for some. We are the most vertically integrated corporation in the world. I'll say it again, and I defy anybody to challenge me. Between the number of businesses we're in as the city of Mississauga and the region of Peel, we run more divisions and standalone corporations than any other company in the world. And I'll say it again, I'm waiting for someone to challenge me on that. And you've heard me define that before. Uh, we, run, we run golf courses. Well, PubLink does that just by itself for fun. We run restaurants. Well, people run those. For, we run government systems. Well, some people do it. We run dental services. Well, some people do it. We run parks and rec. Well, some people, we run tennis courts. We are in so many businesses that the solution is simple. Get up some businesses. I don't need staff to tell me that again. I've said it many, many times. We just lack the courage. The second one I'll leave you with, and maybe I won't discuss it over the next four years, is other than getting out of some businesses, the next big problem, and we all just came to an election, is real simple. We have to start curbing wages, benefits, and pensions, and the time you get one in the government sector. And as part of that, we need legislation and the elimination of arbitration that automatically builds in the multiplier. And when we're getting ready to go over it, I think the courage will emerge. So we keep talking about it, bring it back for the budget, but I, I, you know, it's, it's Groundhog Day for me. I've heard it many, many, many times. And when we have the wherewithal, and we fear our taxpayers more than the unions and re-election, except it'll fix itself. But we're just not there in terms of necessity yet. But it, it may be coming. Thank you. Senior Crombie, you can uh, follow that one. <laughs> Thank you, Councillor Sato. Uh, well, they, the two made the same point. Sorry, I was going to. I said George is going to bring it home anyways, but certainly that's fine. Uh, certainly, you know, if we have to set our parameters because certainly we can save a lot of money if we do close our libraries on Sundays and Mondays and close our pools on weekends when we think people aren't using them. But we're not willing to do that, as, as Councillor Unique and Councillor Parrish have pointed out. So we have to set the parameters very tightly to look at those services that that that. that that we provide and those uh, programs that we provide that maybe we shouldn't be in. For instance, one area I'd like to look at is all our golf courses. You know, whether this is a business. You've done it before? You've said it before. You've said it before. You've said it before. So, uh, you know, just to give direction to staff, it, it, so I, I think we're proceeding cautiously and slowly, and we understand that there's a lot going on right now. But maybe, as Councilor Parrish has said, we'll put some money aside and we'll maybe move area department by department in the future, whether we can decide whether it's 2016 or 2017. But it is something we're all willing to proceed with, maybe just not right away. But time has come, it's been a dozen years, and it's an opportunity for us to look at what we do with the services we provide, the programs we're in, etc. So I think I hear that there is support, just not right away. And carefully defined. So we don't go down that road of Ed Clark or David Dodge or whoever it is telling us we're going to save a lot of money by do things we're not willing to do anyway. So, okay, let's proceed that way just as direction to staff. Councillor Carlson. Well, thanks very much, Madam Chair. Councillor Unique, I'm very 